One team, one collective, one goal. That is a wonderful team goal. We analyze how to score the perfect team goal. Let's start small with the smallest possible unit, the two-man team. The one-two may be one of the oldest weapons in football, but when perfectly executed, it's ruthlessly efficient. Here, Marco Royce and Rafael Guerrero show how it's done. Magnificent! A wonderful, delightful team goal. Dortmund with the team who produced lots of team goals last season. There are three players involved in this move, which is initiated by Hummels. And the crucial thing here is the will to link up together. As he receives the ball, Guerrero sees Jadon Sancho set off. And the Portuguese knows how to play the killer pass into his teammate's path. He, in turn, knows precisely who to thank. This goal had two moments of magic. The first, a pinpoint pass from Guerrero. The second, an ice cool finish from Jaden Sancho. Bayern also managed a fascinating team goal with three players involved. From this moment, Sané, Gnabry and Müller are the only players to touch the ball. What follows is football as art of the highest order, an example of superb team chemistry and an expression of confidence in each teammate's understanding of the game. It's lovely football and that was delicious from Bayern. Wow! Back to Dortmund and the category blind understanding. Here it's Erling Haaland who makes a goal possible by not going for the ball. Look what Erling Haaland does. He knows exactly that his captain Mark Royce is there and what he can do with his right foot. He did it. And another goal from Marco Royce, this time initiated by himself, trusting that the teammate behind him, in this case Torgan Azar, will catch on and implement the idea of the move. And that's exactly what leads to a terrific team goal. He knew precisely which run to make. There was a blind understanding with Hazard and an emphatic finish. Let's move on to Leipzig, one of the most skillful teams in the Bundesliga. RB's game relies on quick link-up play out of their defence, involving various players, even under the most severe pressure. In addition, they have a match plan that's precisely tailored to each of their opponents, which they stick to in a disciplined manner. Here against Freiburg, the aim is to initiate as many attacks as possible via the right side of the Freiburg defence. One look at the attacking zones reveals more than half of Leipzig's attacks in this game came from the left. Once RB firmly establish where their opponent's weak spot is, something they analyse in advance, they continue to link up in a confident and direct manner. They keep on doing that until the ball ends up in the box. And the goal comes almost as a matter of course at the end of a long passage of link-up play. Beautifully done. That is a wonderful team goal. That's what Leipzig are all about. Being there for each other, fighting for each other. That's another prerequisite for a successful team goal. In this match against Leipzig, Jadon Sancho is Dortmund's most pressed player. On his way to scoring the winner in the 3-2 victory, the pacey Englishman needs his teammate's support. In this case, it's Rafael Guerrero who sets up Sancho for what's ultimately a straightforward finish by putting in a long sprint towards the end of the game. Sanchez continued his run. If Guerrero can find him, it's Sancho! Back to Leipzig, and RB take another virtue to heart. They keep the ball moving. It's the old football adage, no player is faster than the ball. And just as important, the ball doesn't get tired, unlike the opposing team, which in this case is Werder Bremen. Because RB don't run with the ball at their feet, but pass it on after a maximum of two touches, they save energy. And that energy is invested in a patient passing game. The ball is moved around at length, Verda's defence is dragged apart, and the ball almost inevitably ends up in the net. Lovely, lovely goal. The combination delicious. 
and the finish was fabulous. All of Dortmund's outfield players are highlighted here. When they touch the ball, the marking disappears. We witness one of the rarest moments in football, a genuinely uncommon event. The build-up to a goal in which ultimately every player has at least one touch of the ball. So all the players have a certain share in this goal. After a good 25 seconds, there are only four Dortmund players who haven't yet had a touch. All the moments mentioned so far come into play again here. The joy of playing, the will and the ability to spread the ball around and play to those teammates who are in the best position at that moment. After 45 seconds, just two Dortmund players haven't yet touched the ball. Opponents here are chasing shadows. The black and yellow's passing's just too good. And after 55 seconds, the penultimate Borussia player also gets a touch. Now only Erling Haaland is missing, and the goal will come in the next 10 seconds. We're watching very closely what the Norwegian's doing. His teammates link up play, takes them into the box, and Haaland can score a very simple goal. The spectacular part to this goal is simply the build-up play. It is the perfect team goal. Well, in the end, they made it look really, really easy. A wonderful move from start to finish and laid up onto a plate for Erling Haaland. When the build-up play is more impressive than the goal, the whole team celebrates. Which team goal did you like best? Let us know in the comments.